What's up guys, my name is Deepak Mehta and in this video, I'm going to be covering top features of Google Meet in 2021. So let's dive in. So the biggest thing that you'll notice in the Google Meet is the new Meet layout, which gives you more room for video feed, content sharing, and the controls are easier to find. So now you have the bottom bar always visible and all the controls are inside that bottom bar. Starting from the left, the meeting code, the clock, and in the middle you'll find microphone, camera, captions, hand raise, uh, screen sharing, and more options and hang up button. And on the right side, you will have uh, sharing meeting details with guests, um, people panel, chat panel, activities panel for breakout rooms, polls and Q&A and more. So you can now simultaneously see other participants while sharing your screen inside Google Meet. And also you can minimize your self view and drag the corners of the self view to each and every corner of the meeting window. And you can also see your self view inside the grid view at a meeting participant. So the second big feature that came out in 2021 was the ability to present either from Google Slides, Google Docs or Google Sheet directly to your Google Meet. So for that, open or join a Google Meet and open a file in Docs, Sheets or Slides and in the top menu area, click present to the meeting choose your meeting or enter a meeting code, select the preview of the tab to confirm and start sharing. This feature is Meet Saver Mode, which actually saves the data and battery power of your mobile device. So to enable this, just tap menu on the top, go to settings and choose your account and turn on limit data usage. And what it does, it, it adjusts the qual quality to save the data and battery power of your mobile device. Comes in very, very handy in situations where you don't have enough data and you're low on your battery consumption. So with this new preview mode inside Google Meet, you can now test your audio and test your video before actually joining the meeting. So for this, at the bottom left, before you join the Meet, click check your audio and video and in the window that appears next, click on audio video and click test speakers. That'll help you check your sound. And you can also click on preview and capture and diagnose. And this way you can record your video and see how it is looking. So very, very handy when you are preparing for a big meeting. So there are new improvements to the way hand raise feature works. And if the participant raise their hands, they are moved to the main grid now. And also once they speak or once their turn is over, they get a notification of lowering their hand down. Uh, on the other hand, the moderators will get a notification on uh, the number of hands raised and the order in which they were raised. All right, so the next big thing is host management is now available to all Google Workspace additions. Earlier, it was only available to Education Workspace Edition, but now you get the ability to assign co-host to all your Google Meetings. So with this, you get safety features like chat lock, sh share lock, and meeting for all, mute everyone. And to assign a co-host inside your meeting, go to People's tab and search for the participant name and next to their name, click on menu and grant host control. All right, folks, so thank you so much for watching my video. Feel free to like, subscribe, and put your suggestion in the comment section down below. I'll be looking forward to reading them.